pretty well so far. You know, I came here to just you know do whatever I can do to help the team win. I feel like I've been doing that so far, so it's been great. You know, just keep doing what I'm doing. Four offensive rebounds. Come on, man. What? Good job, baby. Good job. Yeah, talk about that the emphasis on rebounding. You guys obviously listen. You came through. Yeah. So what you was know, the difference? Oh, you know, we were just talking about it all week after the last game, after the last three games or whatever. We haven't been doing what we should do. We should be doing on the board. So that was just emphasis in practice and even before the game today talking about it. That's what something we wanted to go out there and dominate today and that's what we did. So we listened for sure. What have the practices been like? Have you noticed an increase in physicality or is it more positioning, desire, drive, combination it's, of everything? Yeah, I feel like it's more of a combination of everything. It's just something, it's really mental, you know? It's, that's what rebounding is, just either me or you can get the ball and it's going to be me. That's, that's all it is. Mentally, you got to go out there and want to get the ball and that's what we did today. Ainsley, how confident are you on those corner threes? It looks like when the ball finds you in the corner, it's, it's almost automatic. Yeah, you know, I've been working on that a lot this season. I mean, this offseason, that's something that, uh, it's a lot of, that's one of the shots you get a lot in this offense. So that's something I've been working on a lot. So pretty confident in them for sure. Was that something you had, was, was that something you were good at before? Or is it something you've really added since you came here? To be honest, I was shooting, I was good at shooting threes everywhere besides the corner before I came here. But um, <laughs> obviously coming here, I've been working on the corner threes more than I've been working. So yeah. Yeah, pretty big challenge on Tuesday night. What are your thoughts on that? I just can't wait to go out there and you know do what we do, impose our role on the game, and see how see how well, see how, see how far it takes us. Have you ever played against a, a, a team like a Duke or anything like that before when you're at Fairleigh Dixon? Yeah, uh, we played Illinois last year, and obviously played Purdue in the tournament. So you know, played big teams like that before. It's, you know, it's just basketball at the end of the day. Go out there, be the hardest playing, toughest team, and you end up with a W. The way you guys just move the ball around, you pass up good shots for great shots. I mean, can you kind of talk about that mentality of the team? It's also, that's also emphasis, too, you know, just uh, make, making plays for each other, not for yourself. You know, the ball's going to find you. Everybody, like, don't worry about your own stats. Like, just worry about the team and everything will come. You know, that's what coach tries to preach us every day. Make, team, make plays for each other, make plays for each other. And today was one of those days we did that really well. I guess guys are just buying into that? Yeah, yeah for sure. You know, that's our goal is to win a national championship. Nothing individual, it's just about a team. So that's that's what's going to lead us there, and that's what we've been doing so far. So, yeah. What's it like playing with that guy right next to you over there? You always have to be aware of the ball, right? No, yeah, for sure. You know, he's he got great vision, and he's always trying to push the pace. So when he's on the court, you definitely got to be aware and be ready, for, be ready to get a shot because – He's just out there looking for his teammates, and you know I love playing with him, so it's been great so far. When you see somebody like that who's distributing the ball so well, I mean, how contagious is that? Does it, that make you want to match that? No, nah, it definitely does. You know, it's just like like I said, just try to make plays for each other. You know, you see him making plays for other people, and I don't want to make plays for other people. It's just like a whole. Like you said, it's contagious. It makes the game fun, and it makes it just makes everything great. So it's been good. Yeah, I mean, it's something you know we're all looking forward to, but you know, we're just trying to stay present in the moment. Definitely looking forward to the game. We know that they're going to be a good team, as they always are. We know that they have young guys, and, but you know we're still waiting to, to for the scout and all that. It's something that we we'll probably think more about tomorrow. But um, you know, just staying present in the moment, you know, we're enjoying today. Is this a team that a lot of obviously the previous teams here were a lot of 18, 19 year olds who had never played in a Champions Classic type atmosphere. Is this the type of team that's not really going to have those jitters walking out in Atlanta? Or? I, I don't think so. I think, you know, we're all battle-tested in some shape or form. I think we all have guys that have played in big games like that. And I think that, you know, like, like you said, we're all experienced. So we all know what's required in those games. We know it's going to be a tough game. And we know, like, we got to show up, you know. So we just got to stay true to ourselves, do what we do. And if we do that, then we'll be fine. Coach, you what would it be a younger said, Kobe Bray how would you have answered that question like two years earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what, what has changed about uh, just question? getting out there and being calm, being able to play play against good competition, yeah. playing yeah. Duke? Yeah, I think um, you know early on you definitely get those jitters every game just because like it's your first time doing college. You know, it's not the same as high school, so you definitely get those jitters, especially a big game like that. You're like super anxious about so you're super anxious about just um, the atmosphere and everything that comes with being in that game. But you know, as you grow older, you start to be more calm and you understand like it's a basketball game, you know, and there's gonna be certain plays, certain things that you know that have to be worked on defensively, offensively. You just gotta pay attention to the scout. You know, we have great coaching staff that 
they're going to put us in the best position to win that game. So just got to you know follow them. Score 100 points in back-to-back -back games to start the year that hadn't been done in 46 years oh, around God. here. And he also called you a maestro. Are you the maestro okay. of the symphony out here? <laughs> Was that Coach Pope? Yeah. He's learning some Spanish, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool to, to hear. Um, but yeah, definitely like scoring 100 points two games in a row, like that's insane to me. Um, I don't think it's something that I've done in my college career, honestly. Maybe I have, but I don't. I don't think so. But that's that's something to look forward to. You know, <laughs> see how how long we can keep this up for. <laughs> You guys, you know, pass up a good shot for a great shot. Can you just kind of talk about that mentality and how you guys kind of bought into that? Yeah, definitely. I, that's something I talk about all the time just because we have so many unselfish guys, you know, that, like, I keep saying if we play the right way, like, the ball's going to find the right person, you know. And it's all about staying patient and not forcing anything, you know, like. And today, Kerr showed it a whole bunch of times where I felt like he had an open shot and then he swings it to me and I'm even more open. So it's just a testament to, you know, how we play together and how together we are because it takes a lot of, um, it takes a lot of togetherness to make those plays happen, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like a lot of times in college, guys want to show up for themselves and they don't do that, you know, they want to take the shot themselves, but we have a lot of mature guys that are able to make those plays. Kobe, you guys. What kind of defensive attention do you expect to get from the Duke Blue Devils? Yeah, um, probably the same that I get every game, you know. But like I said, we have a whole bunch of great shooters that if they put too much attention on me, it's going to open somebody else up. So, you know, it's something that I'm not worried about at all because I know if it's not me shooting it, we have another high-level guy shooting it. So. You talked about last game with, after the game. This. Part of the reason you're being able to hit as many shots as you are is those guys that can shoot as well and they can't just focus on you. Exactly. And how is that attributing to the freedom you've been able to play with? Because tonight the other coach said, well, we tried to make him dribble. That didn't work too well for us. <laughs> so just how is that opening up your game? Yeah, it's opening up my game because, you know, just watching film on how I'm being guarded last year and even this year now, everybody just wants to run me off the line, but it's just going to lead to another problem, you know, whether I'm doing scoring or facilitating, you know, I'm able to show more parts of my game. So I hope they keep doing that because it's definitely working out pretty well. Yeah, Buck Nell's coach says that you've never missed two shots in a row. Can you confirm or deny? I'm going to confirm that. <laughs> I'm going to confirm that. It's cool to know that, you know, another coach is speaking like that about me, but, you know, it's something I work on a lot. So in my workouts, I definitely don't let myself miss two times in a row. So I wouldn't expect that to happen in the game. Coach Pope said you're the most efficient shooter in college basketball currently on the year just through two games 83 percent from three is there was there a goal or a number in your head at the beginning of the year maybe trying to beat last year's or nah, just getting open shots no nah, yeah i'm just trying to you know just be the best version of myself for my team you know like i know the talks are going to be there about you know the best shooters this best shooter that percentages and all that but I try to stay level-headed through it all. You know, at the end of the day, it's a game of basketball, and I'm just trying to have fun with it. And you know, everything else is going to come with it. So, how fun is it? To you? When other people are are frustrated, not us. You may have already answered this, but Coach Pope said you knew who he was getting when he recruited you because he's tried to get you for so long. Who is that guy that he's recruited for so long? Talk to you about yourself, Kerr. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just. Play basketball, play with energy. Um, I don't know, I'm not very big on <laughs> talking to myself for real. I feel like you do a big shooting game yourself after being Mr. Assist the first couple games. Sorry? I, I feel like you're do your own kind of scoring explosion. Yeah, I, don't, I don't, I'm not waiting for it. I don't, I'm just playing the game to win the game. That's all it is. I'm, I'm not waiting for my game. I'm not waiting for BG's game. That's not how we operate. We, we operate by winning games and just trying to make sure we win games. Is that the mentality you walked in with, or is that something you got who you saw everybody else the way they played and were like, oh, I can. We, I mean, that's just how kind of natural. I've kind of. I mean, winning makes everything fun, uh, you know. And uh, my early years in Arizona, you know, it was it was just to experience. I mean, we lost four games my sophomore year, and just to be around that, it's like. It was just like it felt like so good, uh, and I just want to, want to get to back, back, back to that feeling. Uh, I had a pretty bad year last year, uh, so I'm I'm just happy to be here and uh, hopefully win a lot of basketball games. You talked to uh, Kobe about this, and you know you you you, actually, you did this in the game. You talked about passing up a good shot or a great shot. Uh, is that kind of just the mentality that everybody has? And kind of talk about that? Yeah, I think it's just the mentality of playing for each other, and um, if you have like. 
so many good shooters, then it's like, you know, you don't have to feel like you got to take the shot if we can get a better one with, with a higher percentage. You feel like that when they see you pass the ball so freely that they, they also want to pass the ball also? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's contagious. I think uh, if everybody plays, you know, if, if, if your guards play, uh, uh, how do you say, if your guards play, forgive my English right now, uh, unselfish. If, if your guards play unselfish, then, you know, it, it's contagious for everybody and everybody eats. Coach Pope said about passing the day and it was challenging about rebuilding better. What do you think about how you guys responded today? Yeah, I mean, we, we started off great, you know, Andrew and all these guys. Um, you know, I think we kind of set the tone of the game in the first four minutes. I think by second or third media, we already had like 10 offensive rebounds. So um, I think we're doing a pretty good job what coaches are putting down and we're just picking it up. Does the big stage mean anything to you? It, Tuesday, Champions Classic, kind of the lights, camera action? Another game, another game against uh, a good basketball team.